Where's your Christmas Bible bear? My Christmas book. Fantabulous. Fantabulous. All right. What What was your favorite gift? My favorite gift. Honey. Oh, honey. 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 I do. Okay. I do. I do love honey. Honey is fantastic, but I really love gummy bears. Gummy bears? Okay. Isn't that like eating like... I've got the big gummy bears. How big is it? Whoa! That tall? Yes. Now, how long did it take you to eat it? I had some. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. that's making the electricity work. See, and just like we are just we are the salt of the earth, we can make a difference on... Uh, we can make a difference in our environment. Remember? We talked about that already. We can make a difference in our environment, our friends, the way we plug into God and be the salt of the earth. And if we do, then our lives will shine, right? Cool? Very good. Let's make it a bowl up. Preserving. 
you can still buy salt cured meat and salt cured fish in the stores. Personally, I don't like it because it's a really strong salty taste, and I don't like that. Nikki? They used to trade gold for salt. Yes. Men have fought wars over salt. Did you know that? Chloe brought up another point. Salt melts ice. And maybe you knew that. Now, I'm not talking this kind of salt. This is not the salt. It's some kind of salt. It's called rock salt. Yeah. And you spread it on the ground, and it literally melts the ice so you can walk. And how many of you see the big highway truck spreading the salt and sand mixture? And I'll, that's what Sarah serious too. The salt is to melt the ice. The sand is to be able to give you traction so your tires will go forward. And just as the salt melts the ice on the road, we are supposed to use the salt of Jesus, which is what we're, the Bible says we are the salt of the earth. We should, we should use that to melt people's hearts. Because some people have a heart and heart about Jesus, don't they? They don't want to serve God. They don't want to work for God. They don't want to do anything for God. And they don't like God. Maybe they've been hurt by people that said they were Christians. But Jesus told us to, to try to melt their hearts with his love, right? So what I'm saying is, Olivia, are you going to bust a gut if I don't let you speak? What do you need? Is it something to do with the lesson? Yeah. Um, sometimes, um, when you're mean, sometimes people say that and it's cold. Cold, that's right. That to me is really gross, but it's true. When people, in the olden days, when you didn't have doctors and they didn't have antibiotics prevalent, uh, like we do, and they got a bad cut, they would pour salt into it. <laughs>
Two, to show his wife. And three, to not hide being a Christian. We don't want to hide being a Christian. Because the Bible says if we deny God before men, Jesus will deny us before the Father. So, do we want Jesus? Do we want Jesus? You know, if God says, who's that boy down there? Jesus says, I don't know. I don't know who he is because he's not one of us. We don't want that, do we? We want Jesus to know who we are and to know our needs and say, that's Chloe Roark and she's the most awesome Christian father and you should bless her. 